Welcome back to Let's Play Neverwinter Nights 2 Mysteries of Westgate. This is Big Los, and we're in Rujalar's hideout where we left off from the last episode. We're in some sort of foyer with two doors on either side. So let's pick this door on our right. And it opens into a storage area. There's nothing in there, so I guess we'll pick the other door. Even the gods can't save My party is super excited about getting in there. Our enemy. They could totally recognize that there are enemies over there. And there are. There's three thugs. So we might as well use this wand of fire, I guess. Alright. That's a good opening volley. Let's go over here, stealth mode, and then we'll attack this thug right here. How come you're not knocking somebody down? Die, Why don't you come in yeah. over here? Yeah. Alright, what are you God's doing? Curse you. You're, you should be going into stealth mode and then attacking him. May whatever god you worship have mercy. Hold. Come on, get some sneak attacks going, will you? Try not to bleed on me too much, fool. Oh, close quarters, huh? Let's see, what do we have over here? Oh, we got a thug leader, and then there's some guy over here shooting arrows. Crossbow bolts, to be specific. Okay, you should be knocking people down. That's what you do best. Alright. Ah, we got some treasures here. Some gold, Rizalar's basement key, I'm overloaded. a shield, and a plus one rapier. We'll give that to Charissa. We'll give the shield to Mantis. I can do that easily enough. In fact, that will be your new shield. It'll boost up your armor class, hopefully. I don't see how your armor class decreased, though. Don't make yeah. All right, now we got one left over come. here. Just die already. Who's doing that? Are you drinking a potion? No, she's casting cure critical wounds. Okay. Yeah. One mistake. Don't make this okay, you know what? Let's get this over with. Why don't you move over this way? No, 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 no. Don't do that. Stop doing that. Stop doing that. I don't know what's going on here. This is crazy. All right, knock down. Now you, actually, Renora. Blast! Why don't you come over here and attack? Enemies approach. Be prepared. You get over here and sneak attack. Finally. Yeah, we got close quarters here, so it's kind of difficult to maneuver. So we got some gold there. Couple gems over there. All right, so we cleared this area out. We probably want to rest now and put the bus back on. Now that we cleared out all these enemies, sure. I now have access to level five spells, Slay Living. So we're gonna try that in the next encounter. In the meantime. Let's put on Mass Aid, Bliss, Shield of Faith. We'll do Shield of Faith on you, on you, and on you. In fact, you know what? Let's do Greater Magic Weapon on Nia. And Nia's probably going to need some Bear's Endurance, Smile's Wisdom. Maybe some Charisma Bonus, Cat's Grace. Yeah, I guess we'll give her intelligence boost Just too. Keep the whole nine yards. Feel no. Any other good buffs that we could put on? I don't think so. In fact, you know what? I Feel should probably no. have something else besides this other bless here. Let's see. Level one. Feel Do we have no. anything that we can replace that bless with? 
conviction. Alright, next time we rest, we'll have conviction. Yes. One more hour to do it. Alright. So now we're full of buffs, and there's no treasure over here, so let's go check this door down here. We use the key that we found. So let's open it up and descend to the basement. And here's a wizard with buffs on him already. I thought I heard something going on upstairs. So we have an intruder. Explain yourself and fast or I'll send you to the hells. This guy looks exactly like Valentino Calabrese. Down to the hat too. Altama has sent me to kill you, renegade. From the claws, are you? You don't look like a were-rat. What a filthy, miserable bunch. I will be doing you a favor by ending your existence. Oh, right away, he hits us with some lightning. Nia was able to save. Alright, so first thing we should probably... I can't move. Can anybody move? No, nobody can move. Can somebody... Okay. Yes, that's exactly what I want you to do. I want you to try to come down. No, 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 no. Don't do that. Can you... No, I guess you can't. I guess we're going to have to use keys. Okay, he did a wall of fire. Good job with the knockdown, by the way. Alright, let's try to move in here. This is really not working too well. In fact, you know what, Mantine? Why don't you move, like, from here? I can't see anything. So, Nia can move from here. Get some sneak attacks on. All right, got it. Got 472 XP for that. This guy had damage reduction of five. So what do we have down here? We got an alchemist workbench, a chest, and a bookcase. All right, let's check this guy's body. All right, so we got braces of armor, ring of protection. Wand of Lightning, we don't have that. How many charges does this have? Okay, well, I thought I used it, but I guess when we get it, it's fully charged. We'll get Sticking Cloud, Fireball, Burning Hands, a comma plus two. We're not really going to need that. Braces of Armor plus one, Ring of Protection plus one. Okay, so let's take all this stuff. We'll take that to sell. In fact, you know what? Let's give that to someone else. Alchemical silver dagger. We'll give that to Renara. Who needs if you a need ring something of protection? looted, I'm your woman. Yes. Stop it. I want you to examine this trap. Absolutely. Okay, who needs a ring of protection? I can do that. You got one sure. ring protection plus three. You probably need one. If you need something looted, I'm your woman. I don't think you have one, but your AC is probably I can lower. Do that. Yes. I can do that. Evil than beware. what yours is. I, I guess we'll I give you the charge three. now. Absolutely. All right, you wear that. I'm ready if you need me. What else can we give away? Oh yeah, that's right. Let's put this in the quick keys down there. We'll have ten uses of it. I'll give this stuff away. We don't need that. We should probably sell a lot of this stuff. Bracers of armor plus one. Evil beware. I am in charge now. You're gonna put those on. I'm ready. Alright, anyways. So what can you tell me about this trap? The DC is eight, we could probably recover it.
Oh my goodness. What did I roll? Oh. Oh, how, how did I figure? I rolled a one. Of course. Of course. Fortunately, we were able to save versus poison. I think we're going to have to make saves every round, though. Alright, so what do we have here? We got Quicksilver, Powdered Silver, Alcohol, a whole bunch of crafting components here in Jets. I'm overloaded. I didn't realize this stuff was so heavy. Fortunately, we do not have any bags of holding. Alright, you can carry that. Carry that one. Yeah, that stuff can get heavy. What about this? Yeah, half a pound. It tends to add up after a while. Alright, so what's in the bookcase? Two books. I'm overloaded. Yeah, these books are real heavy. We're not a library. Once I get a magic bag, I will be throwing them in to that bag. And we got one more alchemist workbench. To get some potions, a greater acid flask, and some choking powder. Great. Wonderful. Alright, let's take a rest and then we will read the journal. Actually, yes. did we give you the journal? No, I we must still that. have it. Yes. Question is, where is it? Sure. I guess I did give you the journal. Where is it? Well, you don't have it. Direct me. Do you have it? No. If you need something looted, I'm your woman. Who had the journal? Yes. Oh, we didn't get it yet. That makes sense. Okay, so we got the journal and stolen documents. So we'll take the stolen documents. Several slightly worn documents detailing some of the Evan Claw's future plans. All right, and we'll grab the journal. This journal belongs to the renegade mage Rujilar. Most of the entries are uninteresting accounts of various personal affairs of his, including obscure magical experiments he conducted while he was still with the Evan Claws. Few of the entries towards the end, however, catch your eye. Rujilar seems to have written them. In the days leading up to and after his abandoning Altama and the Were Rats. I am beginning to become disillusioned with the Evan Claws. Altama's leadership grates on me. She berated me earlier today for my experiments on the rats in the sewers, saying it would be bad for morale. She has held me back. I will not stand for it. This is the second time in three days that she has put a stop to one of my experiments. I will not stand for it much longer. This is the final straw. Two men and a woman, nobles from Cormir, if I heard Altama correctly, and members of some ill organization or another, arrived in our hideout today. Altama says we will be allying with them. Altama says, Altama says, I am downright sick of what Altama says. Marsha, Marsha, Marsha. That, and there is something about that war wizard that accompanied the fire knives. I just don't trust her. I think that I will leave this wretched place tonight. Perhaps I will take something with me to create a bit of a stir. It would serve that hag right. I think those plans of hers would do nicely. I saw her putting them away. Yes. I think I shall take them and go into hiding in the harbor loop. I shall finally be able to conduct my experiments in peace. The entry is in the journal and here. And so does that guy's life. Ends there. So let's take all this stuff back to Altama. She said to meet her in the sods and sundries, so I guess I will meet you in front of there, just to show you where it's located at. Okay, here we are in the harbor loop. In case you're wondering, this is where the tavern sods and sundries is, so we're going to go in and have a chat with Altama and give her the stolen documents and maybe the guy's journal. All right, here she is. You don't have anything on you, do you? Yeah, you do. You got more money now. 
what's over here? I don't know, but let's talk to her. You have completed the task I set before you, yes? Yes, and I have recovered the documents he stole. Yes, yes, these are the documents. Foolish, Rujalar. As my former advisor, you should have understood more than anyone how stupid it was to leave. The grasp of the Evan Claws extends with each passing day. You have done as I asked. Here, take this gold as a reward for your service, as well as this amulet. You may keep it as a symbol of our alliance, or sell it to put even more gold in your purse, whichever endears you more to our cause. You have proven yourself capable, Anya Freya. Yes, yes, you have earned an opportunity to tear at the beating heart of the Night Masks. Their revenues. Sounds good, tell me more. This job should be very appealing to you. If you are successful, we shall both enjoy great profits. In fact, our profits will be the most enjoyable kind. Those that come at the expense of an enemy. The Evan Claws have taken over many territories once controlled by our enemies. However, there are still many quarters of the city where the Night Masks reign, owing to their ability to mingle with polite society. These territories provide them with a great deal of protection money. Protection money? Yes, yes, without the protection of the Night Masks or Evan Claws, many citizens of Westgate would have to worry about waking up to find their businesses looted or their families sold to slave trading pirates. It's a sad fact that misfortunes such as these happen all the time, most often to those who refuse to pay for the favor of their local criminal organization. The Night Masks work with a human known as Lord Foriat Rumble to make collections from some of the wealthier citizens of Westgate. This noble has gambled away everything but his famous name, and even that has been mortgaged to his debtors, the Night Masks. Yes, yes, the Rumbolt family name allows him to move easily among the rich and collect large amounts of tribute on behalf of the Night Masks. He turns this coin over to them at about this time each month, and in return he is allowed to keep living in his nice home in the Arena District. You will steal this monthly collection money from this lord and bring it to me, yes? Also, if you should find a contact list in this lord's home, it would prove useful for the Evan Claws in expanding our operations. Yes, I actually am a sneak thief. Yes, I'm sure you rats will fit right in with Westgate's nobility. We might fit in better than you think. Westgate's nobles care more for wealth than for honor, and the Evan Claws increase their wealth by the hour. I hear this rumble keeps the gold in a magic pouch of some kind. Bring this pouch to me unopened. You must go at once, as the Night Mask may come to collect the gold at any time. I warn you to be careful. The, or the Arena District is where the City Watch is located. Look for a discreet way to enter Rumble's home if you wish to avoid detection. Alright, let's see what's over here. Nothing, it's an empty room. So, you said something about you being able to sell something to me? Show me what you have for sale. Oh, it looks like we can buy the robes here, too. Studded leather plus one. Uh, not really that interesting, but we could sell some of this stuff. I thought I could get more than that. Maybe I'll try somewhere else. Dagger plus one. Yeah, we don't need a dagger plus one. About this. I know we could get more for that somewhere else. Evan Circle, what does this do? Invisibility and scene visibility. Yeah, that's pretty useful. Who's not wearing anything? If you need something looted, I'm your woman. Amulet of will. Direct me. Yeah, you're not wearing I'm ready anything. if you need me. My steel shall lead the way. Alright, you wear that and we'll sell this thing. What happened to your shield? Why aren't you using it? There you go. Evil beware. 
I am in charge now. All right, can we sell anything else here? It's stilled alcohol. I don't think we'll need this for anything. And we'll sell this. Yes. Anything else? Oh yeah, let's check to see the potions. We could probably use a couple of these. Oh, we can only buy one. How about that? Only buy one of that. And this one? Okay, there's unlimited ones of those. What about... Nah, we don't really use that. And over here? Oh, we could buy a firebomb. Those are useful. We can actually buy a Thieves Tools plus 10 if we were apt to use those things. But we're not. We have really high open lock skill. Alright, so... I think our next stop is the Arena District, so I will meet you over there. Alright, we're back. We're sort of by the Quivering Thumb Arena. The place where we need to go is over in this direction, Rumbolt's Mansion. So let's head on over that way. This is the same street that we went down with Garrett the Bold. He went to this statue over here, and that's where we went to the hidden temple of Lyra. Ah, Delmore. Who's this guy? This door guard displays neither the attentiveness nor the discipline required by his profession. Let's see if he has anything. Nothing. No, I want to talk to him. Can't talk to him? Why not? Can I help you? Sorry, madam, but Master Rumble ain't taking guests. He's entertaining some very important personages at this very moment. What can you tell me about Lord Rumble's guests? Why, I wouldn't deign to tell you nothing at all about him, my good woman. It would be an aggrieved breach of trust with my employer and his night mask associates. Aha! So they're night masks. Er, no, I never said no such thing. You must have misheard me, madam. Mayhaps you thought I said night mask associates when I really said, er, nice sash associates. Yes, that makes sense. You see, madam, Lord Rumble's guests are all fine dressers. Uh, I've never seen so many nice sashes before in my life. What would it take to get you to let me in? It would take me losing my senses completely. That's what it would take. I'd get myself into a terrible quandary if I did that, especially if you went and made trouble for Master Rumble. I could give you gold, and lots of it. All you have to do is hand over the key to that gate. And give up my job, not to mention tarnish my good reputation? Besides, I wouldn't want to offend the sorts of very important personages Master Rumble is entertaining at the moment. Not for anything. Sorry, missus, but the key stays right here with me. I noticed you wear the symbol of Lathandra on your armor. Hmm, oh... I keep forgetting to take this thing off when I come to work here at Master Rumbles. You see, at night, I work a shift over at Morningstar Haven guarding some of the illustrious valuables they got on display. Of course, nobody ever tries to abscond with nothing from Morningstar Haven on account of its right next door to the City Watch. I could do that job in my sleep, and usually do. Heh. <laughs> Psst. I'll bet that key on his belt is the one to Rumbled's gate. It would be a real shame if someone made off with it while he was sleeping through a shift at Morningstar Haven, wouldn't it, Aenea? Er, don't get the wrong idea, though. I do the work of 12 guards there, and my boss Obed knows it. Even when it may look like I'm resting my eyes, I'm really keeping watch over things like a flock of eagles. Nothing slips by me. If you work the night shift, shouldn't you be there now? Gods, help me. I knew there was a reason I was feeling so sleepy. I'm late for my shift. And there he goes. Let's follow him. Oh, he disappeared. I guess I'll be over at the Morningstar Haven. 
Shouldn't be too far away. No, it's right around the corner, actually. Do we actually have to go inside? Probably, huh? Very well. So we'll try to get the key off this guy somehow. Where is this guy? Well, he said he guards some artifacts or something, so let's check the back here. There he is. Hmm, alias. Mm, that's nice. Sleeping on the job. I don't know if I'm more disgusted with him or with Opig for letting this shiftless fool steal wages from the church. <laughs> Mommy. <laughs> Let's do a sleight of hand. Take Rumbold's estate key. <laughs> Success. Mm. Don't tickle me there. That's better. So we got 50 XP for doing a, a successful skill check. We got the key. Now we can go inside the estate. So now we gotta leave again. In fact, I'll just meet you over there. Alright, we're back in front of Romwold's mansion. Let's open up the gate. Lost the key. Now we can go right in. Maybe we'll get to actually use our skill this time. This is Rumbold's mansion, but the door is barred from the inside, so you'll need to find another way inside. Alright, I guess we'll have to sneak around back. Wait a minute. No. Go over here. Ornamental rocks. The branches of a large tree tower over these ornamental stones. A large branch overhangs an upstairs window. Dexterity check. Climb the tree and open the upstairs window. Yeah, we'll do that instead of going through th this door. Success! After climbing the tree, you enter the mansion through the upper window. So I wonder what happens if you actually try to go through the back door. Miss Tibbles? You find this beautiful orange and white cat in the midst of giving herself a bath, her tongue clearing her front right paw. She finishes quickly enough as you enter, and instead focuses her big brown saucer-shaped eyes on you and your every movement. Meow. So what should we do? Should we pet her, stroke her ears, or dangle string in front of her to play with? Let's try dangling a string. She half heartily bats at the string and tries to capture it in her mouth. Alas, she isn't too successful, which isn't surprising, seeing as how she's far more interested in you than it. Okay, let's pet her. The cat neither stops you nor shows any appreciation, but her eyes, those large brown eyes, never waver from you. Alright, let's stroke her ears. The cat purrs loudly and closes her eyes briefly, though they bounce right back open the second you stop. Again, she stares at you intently, monitoring your every move. Maybe we're supposed to do these things in combination. Alright, I guess we'll have to ignore her. This cat's probably guarding this stuff over here. How about if we go into stealth mode? We'll probably tell everybody to stand their ground. Wait here for now. That should be easy enough. Mr. Quink. Alright, let's go over here. 
Adamantine longsword, a jeweled dagger. Probably get a lot of money. The political structure of Westgate. Yeah, I guess we'll grab everything. Mastercraft loot. Could probably sell that too. Painting. This painting is a scenic depiction of a boat sailing on an ocean with the backdrop of mountains in the distance. However, you notice there's something strange about the way it hangs on the wall. So slide the painting aside. You slide back the painting to reveal a hidden wall safe, of course. Immediately the cat hisses at you and begins to circle nervously. Ignore the cat and continue to inspect the safe or stop what you're doing. Yeah, we'll stop. Kitty. Maybe there's another way to deal with this cat. Time to finish this. Mr. Quink. Maybe we should have a word with this guy. This fastidious gnome shuffles around the floor, nervously arranging and rearranging the various pieces of furniture and artwork. Your presence here necessitates many questions, but I'll start with two. Who are you, and what are you doing here? Well, I guess we could try to bluff. I'm a guest of Lord Rumboldt's, if you must know. As to the nature of my business, it's official guild stuff, so it's best you don't ask. Success, and we got 50 XP. Of course, madam, that goes without saying. All Lord Rumboldt's friends are welcome guests here, whose business is treated with the utmost confidence. Let me know if you need anything. I shall be easy to find. Of course, excuse me. What do we have over here? Nothing. Yes, may I help you, madam? Which way is Lord Rumbold's study again? The study? It's right down the hall, second door on the right. Great. Now, don't forget to keep silent about me being here. Naturally, my lips are sealed. Thanks. Now, please excuse me. Second door on the right? Does he mean down the hall this way? Oh no, this must be the second door on the right. Pile of books. A small pile of dusty books and tomes is scattered on the floor be before you, so let's search the books. Success! You find a list of names. This should prove useful. Okay. Let's check this pile. You have no further reason to examine these books. Okay, let's get out of here. What else are we looking for? Oh yeah, we're looking for a magic bag. It's probably behind the painting. What do we have over here? A chest that's locked. And it's trapped, of course. Okay, the DC's 13, so I'll just go for a straight disable on this. Alright, we got it. So what do we have in here? A bunch of gems. A bunch of gold. We got haste, identify, and animate dead. Now we gotta figure out what we're gonna do about this cat. Alright, we're going to have to ignore the cat and continue to inspect the safe. 
As you turn again to the safe, the cat hisses one final time and flees out the door. Great. All right, let's open lock and we'll pick the lock. Success. We got 50 XP. You managed to crack the safe's combination. Opening the safe, you find only a small bag within. So let's take the bag. You place the bag into your pack, close the safe, and replace the picture. Rumbolt's magic bag. This is the bag old Thomas sent you to retrieve from Foriat Rumbolt's mansion. You found it in a secret compartment behind a painting in Rumbolt's bedchamber. It is magically sealed. No matter what, sh what you try, you find you are unable to open it. However, judging by the weight of the bag, it must contain a large sum of gold. I can't open it? Oh, okay. So what more are we to do in here? Well, I guess we can leave. Unless we're going to be confronted. Alright, let's go out through the window. The tree outside is easily accessible from this window. Okay, climb down to the yard below. So we were able to do that without getting into an encounter, I think. What in the nine hells? The bag! It's... it's gone! I've been robbed! That's too bad. I was really starting to enjoy our monthly card games, yeah. But nobody steals from the night masks. Nobody. Wait! I haven't stolen anything. You don't understand. I've been robbed. It's not my fault. We know you like to gamble for it. Don't try to hide it. Maybe you bet a bit too much of the money this time, eh? Well, the last gamble you ever made was to gamble with the night mask. Gambling with us is never a good idea. Do the honors, friends? No, wait. I can explain. <laughs> And I guess he is now sushi. One thing remains, and that's to take this to the Altama. We gain one with one influence with Bernara. What played in the end? We could have just killed everyone in the place, but that would have been messy. Oh, okay. So I guess we did it correctly if we gain influence. But we lost one influence with Charissa. Nonsense. That scumbait Rumble is still alive. No, he's not. No doubt he'll continue to torment the good citizens of the city. I'd say you did the very least that you needed to, and that's not a compliment. And we lost influence with him, too. We shouldn't have allowed Rumble to live in here. Not all those guilty are deserving of death, but Rumble was. How many more innocents will suffer because you chose not to fight? Ah, we, we get off of it. Can we go in here? Maybe we could fight now. I mean, I don't care about the influence and all that, but... I don't know. I'm not really one to shy away from this type of stuff. Any treasures that we missed? No, I, I'm guessing that would be the front door. What's over here? So this place is probably full of enemies if you don't go in through the bottom. Alright. Well, I guess I'll go back to the Sods and Sundries and I'll meet you over there. Alright, we're back in the Sods and Sundries. Let's talk to Altama and get our XP for completing the mission. Come on, don't get stuck. You wish to speak to me about Rumbolt, yes? Yes, I have the collection money. Yes, yes, so this is the magic pouch I have heard of. I am sure Zymina can open it for me. Even unopened, the loss of this gold serves as a grievous wound for the night masks. 
Here's the reward I promise. A fair price for the valuable service you have performed. You have recovered a list of contacts as well, yes? Yes, here it is. I thought you would find it in Eafreya. You are proving very resourceful. You would not be out of place among the Ebon Claws, if not for some superficial differences. Here is your bonus for bringing me the list. If things go well, it will be worth far more to us than the pouch. Now I have a job for you that is so delicious, it is almost a reward in itself. First, tell me what you have learned about the mask. I was afraid you would ask. In truth, I have learned nothing. I will continue to investigate, but for now, I offer you the chance to once again strike out at the night masks. Perhaps you will stumble onto useful information in the process. Several days ago, one of the Ebon Bloods slew a night mask, and on this night mask body, she found something more valuable than the heftiest coin purse in Westgate. It was a note describing a plot to steal a golden statue of Lathander. Go on. The Vane priests at Morningstar Haven plan to transport the statue to Westgate in secret, avoiding the unwanted attention of the Ebon Claws and Night Masks. Yes, yes, only in Westgate must people smuggle their lawful goods past criminals. Of course, their secret plans only give them a false sense of security, as the Night Masks intend to pounce on this statue, and the Ebon Claws intend to pounce on the Night Masks. and take the statue for themselves, no doubt. Yes, yes, the statue is very valuable. We will melt it down for profit, or hold it to extort favors from the Lathanderites. I have not decided. Either way, you will share in our newfound wealth. The statue was to arrive days ago, but we used some of our connections at sea to force a delay. It will now arrive by the light of the full moon when the Ebon Blood runs the strongest. We believe many of the best Night Mask operatives still remaining in the docks will be part of this attempted theft. We intend to catch them unawares and slaughter them, tightening our hold on the district. Go now and prepare yourself for the attack. Return to me when you're ready, and I will lead you to the site of the slaughter. Do not dally, as the ship's arrival is imminent. Very well. I... No. Don't order me around, rat. I'll be back when I'm ready. Alright, so we got enough XP to level up. What else did we get? We got 500 gold pieces for the sheet of names. We got an Ebon Blade. What's the Ebon Blade? Looks like that's a short sword, it's plus one, and it does blindness on a hit. Hey, that's pretty cool. We're gonna put that into our quick keys down there. Let's arm ourselves with it. Alright, well, I guess I'll level up off camera since you've seen me level up to this point already. Right now we're level nine, we're gonna be going up to level ten. Yeah, and then. In the next episode, we will do this Golden Statue of Lathander mission, which is the exact opposite of what we did when we worked for the Church of Lathander. Will we be able to steal the statue? Find out next time. This is Big Los signing off. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Y para siempre. Tango buen día.